Hi everyone, welcome back to another Finance Friday video. Today I am going, this is Elise, the plan with Elise, and today I'm going to be adjusting some of my savings trackers. So I have this Go Wild 2021 savings tracker. I had a Go Wild 2020 savings tracker that was all filled out and completed and then of course Go Wild 2020, which is a planner conference. Um, this, well, this conference is in Anaheim, California, but it changes each year. So 2020 was rescheduled to 2021. 2021 has now been rescheduled to 2022. So when I originally saved for 2020, I got to make sure I get these years right. Um, I was like, okay, great. I've already saved pretty much all the money I need to save. So I'm just going to hold that off for the next year. And then life happened. Um, I decided that that money was better in my emergency fund than it was just waiting a year for Go Wild. So I moved it into my emergency fund and I started from scratch with this savings tracker that I made from stencils. I'm almost finished, but Go Wild has now been moved again. So that means that I'm going to, I'm not going to put the money in my emergency fund. I'm going to move it elsewhere. So let's talk about that. I also... Well, I pulled these out because I really like these hexagon savings trackers. Here was another one that I made for my 2020 retirement contributions. And then this is my 2021 retirement contributions page that I am working on. This is my Etsy printable, and that's what I'm going to be using today. So let's do one step at a time here. Okay, let me move this one over. So I'm just going to use, the, here is one that I printed out. This is full size uh, paper, but I need to trim it. I have my American Crafts paper trimmer and I'm just going to sort of line it up so that the hexagons are at the edge and it's somewhat even or straight. Let's hope it's straight. And then I'm going to trim this. These printables are available in my Etsy shop. You can print and reuse them as many times as you would like to. They come blank. So, oops, well, that was a mistake. Okay, I might have to reprint that. Well, no, I can't, it's this one that I messed up. Ah, it's okay because the savings tracker is not going to be used anymore. Just clearing these things out. I'm going to pay attention as I'm cutting this now. And then this one. So I probably made that a little bit crooked. Let's see if it's somewhat doable. No, I messed up. Okay, gonna reprint, I'll be right back. Okay, so this time what I'm going to do is be a little bit more mindful and instead of having this other sheet of paper here, I'm going to mark off the corners of where I need to cut. That'll be make it, it should make it a little bit better as long as I pay attention. <laughs> I could have edited that part of the video out, but I wanted to show you that the struggle is real and sometimes I don't do things right the first time. Sometimes I don't even do them right the second time. Printer is still making sounds. I hope I didn't just mess this one up again. We're going to find out. Totally crooked. I don't know why I can't manage to cut a straight line. Okay, whatever. All right, now I'm going to take my Happy Planner Punch, line this up. It looks like I didn't really do this appropriately because I punched a little bit wrong, but it's okay. We're just gonna let it go. So because Go Wild has been rescheduled to 2022, some planner friends and I are, um, we're using up our flight credits and stuff and we are going to Panama City. Florida. So I made a little page called Planama City, Florida, because they're planner friends. So next what I'm going to do is basically replicate this. I just have to do the math differently because I think each of these were $10. No, they're going to be $10 here too, because there's a hundred of um, 
these hexagons. So I'm going to use a different color and I'm just using my Crayola Super Tips. And I'll note that each one of these that's filled in is going to be worth $10. Okay, and now let me take this and we'll just mark $10. All right, now let me um, speed this up so that uh, you don't have to watch me painfully fill all of these in. Okay, I know I haven't finished this yet. I'm gonna be honest with you, my hand is killing me. This is much better when I can do it slowly and I'm not trying to rush through it. So I'm gonna fill in the rest of this off camera. What I did at first was I um, counted 25 at the top because I have $750 saved. So I didn't wanna fill in those final 25, but I will fill in the rest of these. So that's what I'm going to be doing with the Florida savings tracker. And now I need to do the one for Go Wild. So I don't have Go Wild printed on here because um, you need, I don't have a Go Wild merchandise license. So I'm just going to write or use a sticker for Go Wild 2022. And I think the numerical amount is going to change also because I'm using my flight credits for Florida. I'm going to need to save like save more for Go Wild because I have to fly from New Jersey to Florida. I mean California, and plus hotel and food and you know just spending money. I, my ticket is already purchased. My ticket was purchased in January of 2020. So this is just for everything else. Okay, let me know in the comments of this video if you are going to go wild. It is pricey. Um, I know that it's totally worth it. This will be my first go wild. And so I'm really excited, really excited for it. I think, okay, this time I punched them properly. Couldn't do it right the first time. All right, and now I'm gonna take a fun alphabet sticker book and see if there are any purple stickers in here. There's these, let's see, G-O, but then the W is, oh, wait, W, I, L, Oh, and there's no D. That's so annoying. Okay, this is why I don't like these ombre stickers. We may just do what I did last time, and we may just kind of write this in, but make it fun with the color. So I think that my goal savings-wise is going to be $1,500 which would mean that each of these hexagons is $15 because there are a hundred hexagons. All right, and now let's write in Go Wild. I'm just like, I get nervous about writing on these pages for some reason, but it's okay. I'm trying to decide how I want to do it. Last time I used these journaling stickers. Do I have enough room to put these in? I might. Okay, let's do that. I have a new journaling sticker book. So we're going to go for that. And let me grab my tweezers.
What I like about the journaling ones is that you can kind of make them whatever color you'd like. I think it was tight size-wise, so I just want to kind of put these closer together than those were. Okay. One of the things that I'm really excited about that seems so silly, but um, is friends who I'm going on my trip with. Two of them I've actually never even met. And that's what I think is so cool about Plannerland is that, you know, based like Instagram and other apps and whatever, there are these friends who I'm close enough with, close enough, what, close enough. Why couldn't I get that word? I'm close to, um, and we speak every day, but have never actually even met and we're, and we're planning a vacation together. But I think that's, that's what's really fun. And I know that that happens with Go Wild all the time also, that you finally get to meet. And there's a ton of people who are going to Go Wild that I'm excited to finally meet in person too. I like meeting my planner friends. This is like this one thing that we all really have in common and we've connected through. And um, some of my planner friendships are really special. Well, all my planner friendships are really special to me. So I'm just going to fill this in and I'm using the Crayola Super Tips, just like a basic Crayola marker. Since I don't use colored pens or markers often in my planner, I really just buy like the cheap basic ones. I don't think that you need to get really fancy ones. I used to have some fancy ones, when, but before I started planning, I was really into adult coloring because I needed some sort of paper creative outlet and coloring did it for a while, and so I got like a lot of fancy pens and markers with that, but I just kind of stopped. I donated a bunch of books, I, I recycled some, and I gave some to my niece and nephew. Because once planning came into my life, and I discovered Happy Planner, I really didn't need those anymore. Okay, cool. Go wild. Savings tracker. Um, I should probably note 2022 somewhere in here, right? I didn't really size that can really plan that out. Let's do 2022. Okay, go out 2022, ready to save. Now I get to save all over again, but it's good because the money that I saved previously is now going, uh, going to the trip. So let's see. I guess you could see that that one was originally blank before I put Go Wild on there. And that's what the savings tracker is. Um, also, there's this tracker. So it would be like blank here, like I'm using for retirement. And I love hexagon trackers, like I mentioned. So I'm not putting anything in here because I need to save again from scratch. But um, again, these are available on my Etsy shop, linked in the description of this video. They are $2.75. Um, but again, you can you buy one and you print it over and over again. You can print it a thousand times as long as you just don't resell it. So thank you so much for watching. If you are watching today on Friday, I know this video goes up Thursday evening, but if you are watching on Friday, today is my three-year anniversary of Plan with Elise. So it's three years since I created my Instagram account and dove uh, headfirst into the world of planning. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not already subscribed, please do take a moment to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you next time.